Good evening, Twitchers and YouTubers, and welcome to episode number six of the Blue Goose interview series. And tonight's guest is a driver who basically came in and pretty much stomped on everyone in uh, sim racing at 40 this season, but also has also done some racing in the Pro Series as well. So we're going to probably touch base on that as well. I'd like to welcome in the Sim Racing Authority, Elwood Designs, Xfinity Series champion, Mr. Nicholas Shelton. Nicholas, welcome aboard the show. Yep, thanks for having me. So, Nicholas, um, let's first touch base with um, the Xfinity Series season. It started off, of course, they tore up, but then you pretty much just came in, and you won almost every race quite handily, too. Um, just give us, like, your overall thoughts on the season in the Xfinity series overall, because you pretty much walked away with the, with the championship. Yeah. Um, uh, this season was a good one for me. I, I love the V card, the way it drives, the way it feels. I have a really good feeling for it. So I'm probably better in that than I am the gen six. And, uh, I don't know this season we were, I don't know. We were just racing, trying to not to wreck really. Cause that's been my problem when I race is I end up wrecking if I try too hard. So, but anyways, the season was good. I there was some user joined your there. channel. Certain tracks I didn't run, um, because I just didn't have them or what well, I wasn't good at them. But mostly the season was pretty good for me, and I ended up working out through the chase, and I won the championship. And uh, now, of course, we also do you also ran the uh, Gen Six series as well. You were dominant in that as well. You were going for the series, the series championship sweep. Some unfortunate circumstances, obviously, in tonight's race. But, um, I mean, what has been, like, the main difference from, like, running, like, a Gen 6 car to the Xfinity Series car? How have you been able to handle that um, both ways throughout the course season and still be as fast as you were? Um, I think learning the Gen 6 makes it where if you go to the V car it, or the Xfinity car, it, it's easy. <laughs> the car is just easier. You don't have to use as much throttle control. You're not going as fast. You there's less off throttle time. So the the Xfinity car is easier to drive. So the so Gen six, if once you figure that out it kinda of translates over. So it's easy to go back and forth once you figure out the Gen six part of it, in my opinion. So so after we touched on that in um SRA, we also mentioned also that you were running in the Pro Series, which is basically the last step for a lot of guys before they run in the NASCAR peak anti free series. Um, I, I know it wasn't really the, one of the best seasons for you, but I think it's also your first time in the Pro Series. What are some of, like, the main differences besides probably, you know, like, open setups, obviously, in the, uh, with the, with the, uh, Pro Series, obviously, and, like, a few other circuits, other things as well. What are some of the main differences, and how was the season overall in your first time in the Pro Series? Um, well, it wasn't very good, but a lot of that was my own mistakes, and, I could probably go through every race, and it was just uh, <coughs> either pitting when I shouldn't, getting caught up in a wreck. One race, my internet went out for no reason. Um, it was just a lot of things that made my season not that good. But the Pro Series is really tough because it's it's probably the best class I've ever had going for to get in the peak, in my opinion. But uh, it's it's been tough, to say the least. So... Now the pro series and all that stuff set away. And I want to touch base also with what made, how did you discover um, i racing, sim racing in general, and then what also led to your discovery of like sim racing authority, the uh, the league itself. Um, i racing. I had some friends and some friends and myself. We were on uh, consoles and we were playing like a NASCAR non EA sports game, and we. One of them decided to go get on iRacing, and he told us about it, and that's how I got on iRacing, really. And uh, the way I got to SRA was through Caressel. He, I saw his Twitch stream, and I got to talking to him, and I said, oh, I'll just join the league you're in, and that's pretty much how I got here. So, besides um, being you know in the league race and stuff, and you've also been running in the Pro Series and all that good stuff, um, your how has been how's been the experience been on iRacing so far and like what how much experience has led 
you know, being to where you are today, you know, now running in the pro series and I guess kind of lean on that as well. Like how much dedication and hours does it take to go from running just like someone like me who maybe like maybe practices maybe here and there and runs mostly just leagues to someone like yourself, even guys, maybe like a Bobby Zielinski or those guys who are running like in the pro series. I mean, how much dedication does that have to take to um, run something like that? Um, I think you have to practice a decent amount, especially when you're getting like, like when you're at first doing this, you got to practice a lot to figure it out, figure out the tracks, figure out how the car has to drive. And then the open setups, that's a whole nother animal trying to figure that out. Um, but I think you have to practice a decent amount. I'm not saying you don't, you don't spend, I don't think you should spend 24 hours a day on here, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, you just spend, I don't know, a decent amount so you don't lose your feel and everything. Now uh, a couple more, a couple more other things they can probably touch things, but based on um, first of all, now that the seasons are over in um, SRA, what's going to be your plans uh, going forward? Continue running more leagues like in SRA, focus on pro series. What are your some of your give me upcoming plans? Um, I guess uh, I'll be in SRA's leagues. Um, I'll be doing that. And also, I'll be trying to get better for next pro season. I try to be a better <coughs> driver, like all around, and just uh, so I can make it to DWC next year. And also, um, kind of more of a real life ish question. Um, I have asked every other guest about this. Um, the NASCAR chase, I mean, a lot of people know my opinion on it. I absolutely despise it with a passion. And. What is your opinion on the real life NASCAR chase in general? Oh man, that's uh, let me see how. Um, I don't know. I, I like the old no chase, but if we have to have it, I don't know. I really don't know. I, I prefer the old way, to be honest. It's the best driver of the whole year won the championship. It may be more boring, but it it has the right champion every time. I will say on record, that's the first person I've heard who actually agrees with me that they'd rather do it the old way. So <laughs> everyone else has like been differing opinions on the chase or they don't mind it. So, and finally, uh, one last question here before we wrap this up for tonight. Um, we know that I am racing, you know, every 13 weeks or so, you know, they always do updates and they come up with new content. And of course, everyone in their dog is excited for dirt, including yours truly. Not counting Dirt or like Porsche, which is coming out um, pretty soon as well. If there is one thing you could add to iRacing that hasn't been implemented yet, what would it be? Oh, man, you put me on the spot. I can't even. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know what I'd want. I just, I mean, there's things that they already have that I kind of wish they'd work on more or that they, that would get better. But things that I'd like them to add, I don't know. I mean, you already said <coughs> dirt, which is the obvious. I don't know. I really don't have anything because I kind of like what we have, too. Well, well, Nicholas, on behalf of myself at Blue Cruise Race Streaming, congratulations once again on winning the um, SRA Elwood Designs Xfinity Series Championship. I know it was a tough break. You were going for the sweep in the Gen 6 Series as well. But, um, but congrats on, on a terrific season pretty much dominated the, everyone. Is there any shout outs you'd like to give to you before we uh, get off the air for tonight? Uh, I'd just like to thank everybody for keeping it clean for most of the year and having fun with you guys. That's pretty much it. Well, we have myself at Blue Gears Racing Streaming. Thanks again for coming on and um, congratulations once again. Thank you.